What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to do the glowing eyes effect from the Travis Scott music video in Resolve 16 with no plugins required. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out weekly videos helping you guys grow as creators. So if you have not already, click that subscribe button and tag along. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the Travis Scott glowing eyes effect from his recent music video he just dropped. It's a super cool effect and once I saw it, I knew I had to recreate it and show you guys how I did it. Let's jump inside Resolve 16 and we'll go from there. So you guys can see I made this really cool sparkling glowing eye effect. A while back, me and my friend Burt Colonane collabed with Jason Now What and we did a music video on his channel. So this clip just worked perfectly. I'll link that video above. It's freaking hilarious. If you wanna see me banging the crap out of a cowbell, swing by and check out that video. You will thank me later. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move this video clip out of the way. We are gonna take this video clip we have right here and I'm gonna hop inside Side fusion we're gonna click on our media in one and we are gonna hit shift spacebar and we're gonna look for a tracker we're gonna add that in we're gonna get right to the beginning of our video clip we're gonna take this tracker right up here in the left corner of it you can grab it and move it around and when you're moving this around over here in the right you can actually see a zoomed in version of what you're looking at also so I kind of figured out that eyes for me on this shot did not track super well, but I did figure out that the eyebrow and eye tracks pretty dang good. I'm gonna kind of line it up right in the middle where that shadow contrasty part is. I'm gonna kind of just get a rough idea and we're just gonna let the tracker run and do its thing. Hopefully it tracks and everything went really good. If it didn't, just hit Command Z or Delete Tracker 1 and you can just retrack and try moving it around and fine tuning it. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times to get the perfect track. I'm happy with my track, so I'm gonna hit OK. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make the glowing eyes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a background node. I'm gonna bring it right here. We're gonna make it be white. You can't see it because I don't have dual screens on, but if I turn this one to number one, or if I dragged it and dropped it up there, you could see it. I'm also going to hit a polygon. I'm gonna attach it to the background. And then on the background, I'm gonna hit shift spacebar, and I'm also gonna add a glow. We'll just add that. And then with the glow selected, we're gonna hit a merge and we're gonna grab the merge and slap it onto our tracker. So I'm gonna make this one screen again. We're gonna kinda just get right to the beginning. I'm gonna click on the polygon. I'm gonna make sure I've got my cursor selected and I am just gonna draw a rough shape around his eye. Kind of refine tune that a little bit. You can hit command and your mouse and kind of scroll in and fine tune it if you need. I'm not super worried about it, but we'll just get it kind of close. Now you can see I've drawn it, but it's still not showing up and that's because we merged it to our tracker. To fix that, we're gonna select the tracker node. We're gonna to go to the second tab and under operation mode, we're gonna do match move. Now it's gonna bring that white image on top and lock it to the tracker. I'm gonna go back to the polygon. I am going to soften the edges up, not a whole lot, but quite a bit. We'll kind of mess with the border width till I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go to the glow node and I'm gonna kind of fine tune it as well. We'll kind of make the glow a little bit better. Then you'll play it through and if you're happy with it, you can keep it, you can fine tune it more if you need to, but I think that looks fine for now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating our particle or sparkle effect inside Resolve. So to create that, we're gonna make sure nothing is selected. We're gonna hit shift space bar and we're gonna look for a PE emitter right here. We're gonna add that. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm also gonna look for a P turbulence. So I'm gonna hit shift space bar and look for P turbulence add you we're also going to add a renderer so we're going to hit shift space bar we're going to look for a p renderer we're going to add you to make it a little bit easier we're going to actually do dual screens on this i'm going to click on the p emitter and i'm going to hit number one just so i can bring it to number one and now you can see we've got our particles just floating right here hanging out 
You can move around them and see what's going on. So for the PM emitter, we're gonna turn the number up to, let's say 30 should be fine. We're gonna turn the lifespan down to, let's just say 24. We're gonna click on the velocity. We're gonna turn this up to, let's just say 0.11 is fine. I'm gonna turn the velocity vibrance up something I think looks good. You can kind of see it's starting to actually shoot it this direction now. You can also mess with the angle, vibrance, which kind of cones it or makes it wider. Don't forget you've got a Y and Z space inside your 3D compositions and nodes. So keep that in mind as you're playing with these. I just like to kind of tweak with them and fine tune them until I see fit. I'm gonna kind of spread the vibrance a little bit and mess with the angle. I think that looks pretty good. I'm kind of happy with that. Then I'm gonna hop into the P turbulence and we're gonna kind of mess with a few things in here that also fine tune what we like. I'm gonna turn the random speed up to, let's just say 31 seems okay. I'm just gonna kind of mess with the X, Y, and Z just to make them where I think looks fine. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as what I'm doing. I'm really just poking and prodding until I find something that I'm happy with. After I'm done with all my P turbulence, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the renderer node. I'm gonna go up here under the inspector. I'm gonna click output mode and turn that to 2D. Then I'm gonna hit shift spacebar and I'm also going to add a glow to this. We're gonna add our glow, bring it under here. We're gonna hit shift spacebar one more time, look for a transform, we'll add that. We'll take our transform node, attach it to our merge node, and now we have our particles inside this video clip. The only problem is, is I do not like the look of it at all. It's not big enough, it's not bright enough, so we're gonna tweak that a little bit. We're gonna go back to the P emitter. Under the second tab, this little paintbrush, we're gonna go from point to blob. And I'm gonna turn that size way up. I'm gonna mess with the velocity a little bit, and then I'm also gonna turn the size of the velocity up. And then what I'm gonna do is under size over life of how long these particles or sparks last, I'm gonna make a little bit of a curve. I'll kinda just bring that there. And we'll drop you down here. I'll curve you a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. It's coming out a little hot, so I might turn the size down a little bit. I might also bring the size of velocity down a little bit. I'm gonna click on the glow because it's just a little bright. I'm gonna bring the glow size down a little bit. I'm gonna scrub through, make sure it's tracked. It's still tracking it just fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the transform node. I'm gonna scroll right here to the very beginning. And I'm gonna size this down a little bit. I'm also gonna rotate it to find a good spot that I like. I'm gonna bring it up, move it over, kind of by his eyes. That's pretty good. You can even bring the size down a little bit more. Play that through, see how that looks. And yeah, that tracked it really well, and I'm I'm pretty happy with that. You can tweak things again inside the PM emitter node and the turbulence node uh, and really fine tune it however you want. If you're completely happy with how that one eye looks, it's super easy to do the second eye. The easiest way to copy this to the other eye is highlight all of these nodes right here. I hit Command C on a Mac, click away from it, Command V. I move them over here on the media one. I look for another tracker. I add that. Bring the tracker two down here. On the tracker two, all I do is the same thing. I track the other eye. To help it out a little bit, I'm gonna shut these off just for a minute. We'll track the other eye just like we did the first one and then link the merge to the other tracker. And then we can just move the transform node, rotate it a little bit, make it however we like. Do the same thing with the polygon. Move it over to the other eye and then you've got both eyes tracked just the same. You're not having to tweak a whole lot. You can go into each individual eye and fine tune them and make them be just a little bit different. Maybe you want the turbulence a little bit different on the right than you do the left. 
but that's really up to you and fine-tuning however you want to do it on the face um, that that's basically all I got for you guys give me a thumbs up if you like this video drop a comment below on some new videos you want to see coming out I would love to hear your guys' thoughts hit that subscribe button with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos you guys are amazing I'm the iron giant I'm out